Hey, I'm John Vining. I'm entering the NBC sitcom contest. I'm from Tryon, North Carolina, and I'm here to talk about a brand new sitcom called It's Never Too Late. I've always had a passion for being a TV show creator. In fact, um, like usually in most plots in the TV show, I can figure out within five minutes what's going to happen. And uh, I like creative writing. I like clever writing. I like uh, uh, good interaction among characters. And I'm not sure that's what you get today. You get a lot of uh, reality TV or raunchy stuff, and, and I think it's time to have a, a decent show that uh, is cleverly written. I'm an extension agent. A lot of people don't know what that is. I, Hank Kimball, that was on the character on Green Acres, he, he probably did more to hurt the image of extension agents than anybody we've ever had. I tell folks all the time, my friends, that uh, it's a story about a 50-year-old woman who finds out unexpectedly that she's gonna have a baby and her 53-year-old husband. When I tell most people that, most women go, that's not a sitcom, that's a nightmare. In thinking about the show, I've put together a group I call the Dream Team Cast. The mom character is a career person. She's um, an architect, and that's what she does. Her husband, David James Elliott, um, I call him the eye candy for the women on the show, or that wanna watch the show. Um, those two are a really great couple, they get along great, but they also have completely different careers. He's eye candy for all the 50 and 40 year old women that will be watching the show. So I, in fact, when I've shared the idea to friends of mine on the internet, they, I've said, I've sent them the names of Celia Ward and uh, 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 David James Elliott, and then all the women write back and go, oh I love that guy from JAG. The first one is the daughter Kate. She is 29 years old, has three children of her own, she's finished two years of college, she is bossy but insecure. The middle daughter, everything in life has come easy. Her name is Rachel, she's a tomboy, she's a career woman, never has to study. I mean, she just, everything for her has come easy. Now the third daughter, man, she is high as can be. Um, this third daughter is the one that drives her dad crazy. Oh my gosh, she is so hot. Oh my goodness, she is, whew. We may have to have censors on the show because she's so hot. Let's be honest with you. Most of the characters on the show are eye candy. I mean, that's, you know, what sells shows lots of times, eye candy. Next come the neighbors. Katie Seagal plays the gossipy, nosy neighbor. Her husband, Clyde. Clyde is uh, very skeptical. He's very quiet, sort of a laid back fella. Kind of does whatever um, his wife, uh, Becky, wants. The sassy great grandma is Diane Cannon. Hattie Winston is Mark Montgomery, the lead character's uh, administrative assistant. Next is Kate's husband, Tom Baker. Tom is a um, owner of a screen printing business. The grandchildren. First, I don't know if you remember Morgan York. Morgan was in the, the movie The Pacifier. A wisecracking, sassy uh, granddaughter, nine years old. Next comes Connor Corm. Connor is the six-year-old boy. He's uh, the brother of, of Megan. Uh, last and probably not least, one character that we've got to have is Paul Rodriguez. Paul Rodriguez is Mark, Public Works Director. I actually got the idea about 22 years ago when my oldest child was born. My wife and I at the time were uh, 27 and 32. We went to child uh, birthing class and I looked around in the room. Everybody in there was either 18 or 19 years of age and here we were 27 and 32. I think it adds a lot of potential humor, a lot of family time, uh, conflicts among the family, the husband and wife, they have an interesting relationship. They're close, they're romantic, but she's an architect, he's a town manager. I'll be ready to uh, cheap news after today. <laughs> oh gosh.